hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer no matter all of you that keep coming back hello and welcome back quick reminder if you've never subscribed just to remind you to click that red button there that says subscribe and after that click the bell sign that way you get a notification whenever i upload a new video so in today's video i want to talk about how um you can say Nelson Mandela you can say Awolowo you can say Azikiwe you can say um Odimegu Ojuku you can say um Namdi Azikiwe you can say Felakuti you can say um Ganifawe Yimi you can say Femi Falano you can say Buari you can say um who else you can say Obasanjo you can say Martin Luther King you can say think of any name think about think of any famous person anybody think about them you can say their names but uh, the minute you say the name of a Nigerian pastor there are children in the Lord feel that you are going to miss heaven because you call their daddy by, the, by, by his name and they expect you to say daddy you expect you to say daddy in the lord they expect you to say you know i get i get this a lot on my channel and i just laugh i'm like these people are so like the ridiculousness the stupidity i can't even i can't put it in words it is shocking absolutely shocking because you call <laughs> oh goodness gracious if you make a video and you say let's think of a name Chris Oyahilome, his children in the Lord go berserk. Or you say, Suleiman, their children in the Lord, Johnson Suleiman, is he your mate? Uh, no, not that Suleiman is old enough to be, not that Suleiman, not that Suleiman is old enough to be my father. How dare you, you have no respect. Well, like it is, oh my goodness. Some people are just unbelievable. And then you say, Jesus. And they don't complain we can call jesus right and we can say jesus we can say paul we can say peter james we can say david in the bible we can call solomon by his name <laughs> we can do all of that but the minute you call a pastor by their name whoa all hell breaks loose and then you wonder who is the god in their lives who is the God? If you can call Jesus and nobody is offended about us calling him Jesus, but you call their pastor's name, they get triggered. They get triggered. How dare you call me? Like, okay, to start with, right? There are a lot of these pastors. Like, that, like if I saw, for example, let me think of um, Adebuye. If I saw Adebuye, I'm not going to call him Adebuye. Of course, I'm not going to call him Adebuye, right? If I saw Femi Falano, I'm not going to call him Femi Falano. If I saw whoever, like, I won't call him that. Oh, that's, you know. But when I'm making a video, okay, when I'm making a video, I can say Femi Falano. People are reporting on the news and they are calling him Femi Falano. Falano. People are reporting on the news and they say Femi Falano. And they say Femi Kuti. They say... Uh, uh, Felakuti, and they say Awolowo, and Namdi Azikiwe. You can do that, but if I saw um, Ojuku, I'm not going to say Ojuku. I would say that, okay? But if I'm making a video or you're reporting on the news, you can say Ojuku, right? But if you call, you can call. These people don't care. You can call any other person by their names. Call any other person by their names. But when you are calling their pastor, they want you to put res put respect on it. They want you to respect, you know. And they forget that because you idolize these people, does not mean we all do. We don't all do, okay? My thing, but this is to show you the bondage some people are on that. No part of the Bible says we should call any pastor daddy in the Lord. Okay? No part of the Bible says that. If you want to call him daddy in the Lord, that's your choice. I can stay here and make my video and I can call any name that I want to call. Okay? But it, like I said, when we call, we call the apostles by their names. Name Paul, you know, Peter in the Bible, James, um, Luke, all of them. Even Jesus himself. We call him Jesus. Right? We call him Jesus. And... Uh, this will have no problem but it's when you call your pastor's name they come and they you know they get all oh, triggered how dare you you have no respect why will you call him his name he's not my dad in the lord he's your dad in the lord not mine okay but this is what we're talking about 
I like to make these videos. You know, this is why I like, I want to address these videos because it brings back the message that people have made human beings gods in their lives. I made a post the other day on uh, Facebook about tithing and this lady came and started talking about how tithing has worked for her, tithing has opened all these doors, da -da 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 -da. and I told her, I said, listen, you know, I said, if you feel like you, you are paying God for the blessings that you have, it basically means that you're saying that God is collecting bribe. Okay? You're basically saying that um, it is by your work. And do you know something else she said? And then she said, even if Jesus came down and told her to stop paying tithe, she said, I'm not going to listen to him, she said to me. And I said, and, uh, and then what God are you serving then? You say you're, you, you believe you're paying tithe to please God, and then... If Jesus tells you not to do it, you're not going to listen to him. Then what God are you trying to please with your tithe thing? This is what we're talking about. To the point somebody said, I would even listen to Jesus. You know why? Because they listen to their pastors. The pastors have become God in their lives. You know, some of them like, uh, somebody was saying to me, uh, let it be. Even if they are deceiving not, it's none of your business. Uh, it's none of your business. Uh, it's my, you mind your business. Look. Look, I'm making my video here on my channel. I do not bring my video to your house. If you don't click my video, my video will not open and play to you. I'm not forcing my video on you. Just like your pastor has the right to say whatever he wants to say, I have the right to make a video and address it. Somebody left me a comment two days ago, two or three days ago, and said, um, if you know that they are not doing the right thing, go and start your own church. The Bible says expose them. The Bible says you do not take part. In this, should not take part in all these works of iniquity. Instead, expose them. It didn't say instead open a church. I said we have to follow what the Bible says. But these people that you know they come and they defend their daddies in the Lord, and their daddies in the Lord are having a great time because they have succeeded so well in deceiving these people. And let me tell you, some of these people are in what I can call spiritual gas chamber spiritual gas chamber they are in this bondage they do not know it they will do anything to defend their pastor not the truth from the bible somebody said to me uh somebody said to me you know you know um what's it called you know at the end of the day you just leave them let them do their own thing you know you just leave them let them do their own thing uh, you just do your own thing i said no the bible tells us you know that exposing these things you know, I've read, I've read, uh, you know, if you read uh, 1 Timothy uh, chapter 4, verse 1 and 2 and going to 6, you know, it talks about how, you know, it talks about all these doctrines that people are going to invent, all these false doctrines. And he said, but if you, if you expose these things, you tell the brothers and sisters about these things, you, you share about these things, you'll be doing the work of God. You'll be doing the work of God by doing these things. You are doing the work of God. You're following Christ by doing these things. And uh, I'm not pushing my video on you. If you do not click my video, my video will not open. If you do not sit down and watch my video, you will not have a clue what's in it. You make the choice to click. I didn't force it on you. So if you come and tell me, my pastor, my pastor has tried to tell, tell us, you know, somebody was like, there's this one that said, uh, um, he's, my pastor is addressing his children. He's not addressing you. I said, hey, your pastor is addressing your children and he's posting it on YouTube. It, it, YouTube is not his children. Okay, if, you want, if, you want, if he wants to keep his doctor, to his church members you can keep it in within the four walls of his church they don't have to bring it out for the world to hear I told people the only thing you can do is pray for them and believe it or not more and more people's eyes are opening the first time I shared about um, tithing would have been about seven years ago I shared about tithing and I showed people what the Bible says about tithing uh, some people were shocked some people were shocked like whoa never saw that in the Bible I never knew that was in the Bible you know how come nobody ever showed, talked about this part of the Bible? People were in shock, you know. So it's just shocking how you can say Jesus, you can say, you know, you can call the name of Jesus, you can call the name of anybody. Think about the greatest people that ever lived on earth. Think about the greatest people in the Bible. Think about all of them. You can call their name, no problem. But the minute you call their pastor's name, all hell break loose, you know. And you wonder, who is the God in their lives? Who is the God in their lives? I've said it before and I'll say it again. All, you can do, all we can do is speak. And after that, pray that God will open these people's eyes. Because some of them have gone so far that the only thing that can help them is prayers. That's the only thing that can help them. It shows you how they've placed their, their pastor so high and mighty. I will keep telling you this. That God is no longer God in the life of a lot of people. The pastors have become their gods. And, uh, you know... 
some of the things that I, the truth in the Bible does not matter to them. It is what their pastor says. And these are all the part of the, this is part of the, the work of the devil to drag them the wrong way. Oh, since you started making this video, our church keeps growing. The Bible says it, that the way that leads to destruction, many go through it. Your church can grow as much as, but don't forget what the Bible says, that many go through it. They, like, they act like people that are hypnotized. They act like people that are, you know, hypnotized. Like they, somebody has taken away their sense of reasoning. It is shocking. It is really shocking. The way things are going, really shocking. Like I said, you can call the name of anybody. Call the name of anybody. Even Jesus himself. We don't call him Daddy Jesus. Call him Jesus and he's answering our prayers. I just pray that you watching me, that you will not be one of those that will be led astray. Remember at the end of the day who your God is. Don't ever let man be a God in your life. There's only one God and it's not your pastor. And with that, I'm just going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.